Yes, I know it's the year 2024 and two months have passed. Life can throw some tough stuff our way, like breakups, losing a job, or saying goodbye to someone we really love, but you don't have to let those things keep you down. You can totally flip the script and bounce back stronger than ever. Step number one, make the change. So, why don't many people make any changes in their life? Because they are subconsciously scared of failure, and change is where it all begins. And when we experience a change that we wouldn't have chosen for ourselves, it's easy to feel that our lives are contracting, that we're more limited than before, that when an unexpected change happens to us, it can also inspire lasting change within us. If you keep doing the same old thing, nothing's going to shake up and you won't see that epic comeback. Now, how can you make a change in your life? And the answer is routine. Like every motivational speaker, I'm not saying start your day early, engage in challenging tasks, and embrace a morning routine. Just be yourself if you like to wake up at 9 a.m. It's not any shame about it. Just list out your goals and work on them for a particular time. Like if you are comfortable starting your work at 11 a.m., so do it. You just need your full focus in this particular work even if this task is a 45 or 50 minutes task. And also, don't force yourself to do this task for two hours. Just be comfortable within yourself because you can do your best in your relaxed mode without any pressure. And by consistently accomplishing what you set out to do, you build momentum and confidence, setting the stage for long-term success. Even if we learn the importance of change and our life does not change, so what do we need to do? Here is point number two, release your regrets. God's all about giving us second chances and turning things around, but you can't keep dwelling on the past. Not at all. The past is set in stone, but your future? Well, that's a blank canvas waiting for your masterpiece. So why do we need to stop regretting? Because God's all about restoring and making comebacks happen, but you can't move forward if you're stuck looking back. Now, what do we need to do? Just forget your past. And because your yesterday is like a dream and your past is also a dream that does not exist, you only have this time. Your past doesn't exist anymore. Do your daily tasks to achieve your big goal. Regrets? Trapping you in a cycle of guilt and self-pity? It's time to kick those regrets to the curb, leave the self-pity behind, and set yourself free. Trust me, letting go is the best thing you can do for yourself. After you learn about releasing your regrets, what should we do to avoid regret? That's our point number three after this. Abandon setback mentality. Setbacks don't define you. You're not a failure because you had a setback. You can only fail if you stop trying. So what is this type of abandoned setback mentality? They're like wearing glasses that only show you the negatives. But guess what? Not everyone sees you that way. Now, how can we deal with this abandoned setback mentality? My personal suggestion is to set realistic expectations and celebrate wins. Focus on solutions and take proactive steps. Now, after breaking this abandoned setback mentality, how can we come back? So here comes the point number four, exit survival mode. Listen up, your epic comeback can't kick off if you're stuck in survival mode. Now, what is survival mode? Survival mode is a very lazy way of living. Like you're lying in bed all day and doing nothing. Just scrolling Instagram reels and sharing every reels with your two or three friends. I'm saying just think about it. It's a dead end street. No growth, no progress, no impact. And God did not put you on this earth just to survive. You are meant to thrive and to have your comeback. Now we successfully exit the survival mode and the question is, we need confidence to make the greatest comeback. So here comes number five, restore your confidence. Let's talk about confidence. You know, that inner spark that makes you feel like you can conquer the world? Well, setbacks, they're like confidence vampires, sucking that spark right out of you. How can we keep this confidence alive forever? Why is confidence so crucial for a comeback? Well, it's like the rocket fuel that propels you forward. So let's get pumped up, take a leap of faith, and rock this comeback journey with all the confidence in the world. Now the last point is most important number six, is ignite your passion for your dreams. You can decide to dream again. There will always be some people who will put down your dreams and who will try to discourage you from your comeback. Don't listen to those people. No matter what has happened, don't permit your setback to define you anymore. Now how can we achieve our dreams? As we discussed in the first point, to make your dream a reality, the discipline must match the desire. Take a pen and paper 
and list your dream. Now, what can I do this month to achieve this dream? Now, what can I do this week to achieve this dream? Now, what can I do today to achieve this dream? Now, what can I do this hour to achieve this dream? When your one big dream comes into a short-term goal, you can achieve anything. You just need to do one task at a time for this hour. And don't worry about your future because I think the person who say, I will do this, I will do that, will never achieve anything. You just need to do and ask yourself, what can I do right now that will bring me closer to my goals? Because you only have control of your present, not in the future and not in the past. Thank you.